The dispute originated in Buloli Zone, Namugongo Wachiso District, between December 14th and 28th, 2022, when slight Semakula Liars Sema Properties was charged of unlawfully destroying property belonging to a 99 year old Namazi Helena. The conflict stemmed from the ownership claim, with Namaz asserting ownership since 1986, while Samakula alleging to have purchased the said land from Namaz's neighbor, leading to a dispute that started in 2000. To Dechira Magistrate's Court, the Director of Public Prosecution's Office, as this continued all charges against Slight Samakula, defense lawyers led by Mohanj Godfrey welcomed the DPP's decision. The rules of the fight. All the evidence on court record that the Supreme Court and other courts confirmed that the state has no any case against him. And today they have withdrawn the case against him. The money that he paid has been refunded. The title that he has posted was also released to him. This mess is being caused. That's why these people are being prosecuted for no good reason. So right, Samakula Liars Sema Properties express his thoughts on the DPP's move. In a separate proceedings at High Court Criminal Division in Kampala, before Judge Isaac Mwata, former Wasiro South Member of Parliament as parent Paul O'Wall's bail application, was denied by court. Paul O'Wall faces charges of fraud impersonation, and land malpractice, Judge Isaac Mwata has now sent him back to Entebbe Magistrate's Court to proceed with the charges against him. Prosecution alleges that Paul O'Wall fraudulently obtained money from Joy Naweza and provided her with a fake land title after receiving payments for the land worth 70 million Ugandan shillings, yet the same land had been sold to someone else, Deborah Namamonde. Susan in Nabugode, UBC News.